Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hi there. Hello there. Hello. Welcome back. Aaron is on. Yeah. Aaron's jumping between planets that look like scoops of chocolate and vanilla ice cream. Yeah. And it's delightful. Uh, by the way, you didn't miss anything. Uh, I mean, it might seem weird, the continuity, but, um, I just sort of got carried away and started playing off-screen, and then I was like, oh, Yeah, you just you just jumped into World 6. Yeah, That's so, basically all. So I'm like, it, it's fine, you didn't miss anything. I, I transported, and then now I'm on this place, and I'm Luigi. Yeah, and there's again. a few crafts. And I have to kill all the enemies on these planets. Done. Easy. Is this actually an ice cream planet, or am I just making that up? No. Am I just hungry for ice cream? It's a spooky pumpkin planet. You are hungry for ice cream. Okay, cool. Both of those things can be true. Bro, let me tell you something. A little something about ice cream, alright? Let me tell you a little mm -hmm. something. Um, Please. All humans are wants to be lactose intolerant. That is, cow milk. Um, we have like a bacteria in our guts that is basically like the the source and then if you don't have lactose for a long time you lose it okay and then you're lactose intolerant you can make yourself lactose intolerant by not having lactose for a long time interesting um so i did that not by mm -hmm. choice i just i didn't have a lot of milk products for a long time and so right. now i'm lactose intolerant um and one of the things about my weight loss strategy is motherfucking Halo Top, which is... I don't know what that is. Halo Top... Look at this. This is spooky. This is cool. It reminds me of yeah, Mario like 2. It. Looks like a Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas? Oh, I don't know, just oh, something about the, the colors and yeah. the... Yeah, yeah. I didn't even notice the face. Um... So, for those of you who don't know, and Dan, um... Wait, what am I... What am I to do here? Uh... I do not know. Halo Top is an ice cream product that... Oh, we just shine the light on him. Ah, oh, that's easy. Um, it is an ice cream product that every pint is less than 400 calories. Some of them are, like, in the 200s. Like, vanilla, I think, okay. is, like, 260 or something. The whole pint of ice cream. Wow. And it's not... And it's not, like, bad. It's actually really fucking good. Um, there's, there's no... Because when you hear that, you're like, Oh, well, you know, it probably tastes weird and, like, it's not, like, sweet or... No, it's awesome. It tastes fantastic. And, honestly, I prefer it over regular ice cream now because it's less heavy. Mm -hmm. Um, but... It is... A lactose product. And so it gives you the farts. It gives is that me what you're the saying? Farts, it gives me the diarrhea. And when I first started this diet, I was eating it like nonstop because it was like, damn, you can just fucking eat ice cream and lose weight. This rules. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it kicks ass, and it has a ton of protein in it. Um, right. So it got to a point. It sounds where, too good to be true. I mean, right? You 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 eat the. I mean, there's no twist to that. Like, it's just awesome. Halo Top is fantastic. I highly recommend it. It's a fantastic product. Um, okay. I, it's funny because I watched some guy like go up to the the you know the freezer aisle and it's like, oh, this is the healthy shit. Blech. And it's like, no, you don't even know, man. <laughs> anyway. This is not a brand deal, by the way. Aaron's not getting paid to say this. Oh, I wish. Yo, Halo Top, you want to sponsor me? I'll fucking shell the shit out of your 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 ice cream. <laughs> Seriously, shit's so good. Well done. Fuck. Um, so, oh, anyway. Aaron has anyway, dropped out of the chat. Anyway. Anyway, we just got disconnected and we're back. Yes, we're back. Hello. <laughs> um, anyway. What I was- what I was saying was, you would think that I get to eat ice cream, I get to lose weight, and I get to fart uh -huh. a lot, is my dream scenario. Yeah. It's like- it's like the holy trinity. And for a while, it truly was. It was... I would fart, and I'd be like, this is awesome. These are like... These are fucking, like, vicious farts. And they don't, like, stink or anything. They're just vicious-ass farts. I have a hard time believing that, but we can move on. 
I can... I'll, I'll, I'll cop to when my farts stink and don't stink. Everyone loves their own brand, man. I, they, they don't, like, smell at all. They're just... it's just, just lactose farts, man. Whoops. Is it possible that you've actually just burned out the inside of your nostril receptors? <laughs> From the heinousness of farts gone by? <laughs> From all of my farts. Um... No. Great. 30 star. Star bit! Uh, yeah. Do it. This one. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Fill me up with exact change, baby! <laughs> um, What's the life mushroom? It, gives it just you, brings you back to life if you die? No, it gives you three extra hits. Oh, that one. Okay, yeah. got it. Um... But, as it turns out, uh... Every day, I was farting. And I was farting. It was just... <laughs> they, they were just fucking, like, vicious. Loud. Like, like, rumbling. It was just unbelievable, the farts. Okay. So, I, I had to, like, it was getting to the point where it was like, I couldn't handle it anymore. <laughs> I couldn't take. How I can't much? stop farting! <laughs> Dude, you joke. That's literally what it was like. I was like, I can't, I can't, I have to, I, but I can't, I can't stop farting. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. I was very upset. Um... So, what'd you do? Th th this story better have some serious closure. <laughs> oh, I, I discovered lactate. Oh, yeah, that's what my sister drinks. Well, I mean, I don't drink the, like, milk version. I- oh, hello. Um... I take, like, a pill. Oh, okay. And then, for the next, like... 30 minutes, you can just eat whatever the fuck you want, and you won't get farty. And it fucking hmm. works! Wow. So, also, Lactate, if you want to sponsor me, I am <laughs> very available, because I am now a frequent user of your fantastic product. So you won't just stop eating ice cream? No, who the fuck- what- oh. what are you- What are you, out of your mind? I- alright, sorry, I just thought maybe that would be the easiest instead of taking medication. Hey, it's not medication, it's just- it- it releases an enzyme in your stomach that can- that digests lacto- lac- lactic acid. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. Well, that's really interesting. Um... <laughs> what's going on to Mario? Uh, what- what's it feel like? What do you mean, what does it feel like? Like, does it just feel like nothing? You can just eat it and there's just no repercussions whatsoever? Yeah, man, you just fucking chow down on ice cream and it's great. And then you go to bed and you Aww. don't fucking wake up in the middle of the night with... with... farty loud diarrhea. Man, you know what... You know what would be the best? What's that? Ugh... Like a- like a chocolate soft serve ice cream, the swirly kind, in a wafer cone with rainbow sprinkles. Oh, God, what my life would be if I could have that I right know, now. Man. Dude, you know what I want? Fucking What's that? Dairy Queen soft serve with that butterscotch shell. That is... I've never had the butterscotch shell, but I have had the chocolate shell. I had Dairy Queen for the first time. What? Um... First time? Yeah. I think so. I mean, maybe I'd had it before and just didn't remember, but... Yeah, there wasn't really one growing up in in my town. Really? That's I feel like yeah. that's a New England thing. Yeah, but I'm not from New England. Jersey's not New England. Nope. <laughs> that's too far south. Oh. New England stops at Connecticut. I see. Um so uh but I had one in uh Utah when I went uh on my big old dinosaur trip um with my nerdy bud and uh he was like dude you've got to try this chocolate shell and we did and uh wow it was fantastic yeah man the chocolate shell and that was right that was right before Backstreet Boys tour so um I'm glad I got one last ice cream hurrah of course, at the time, we thought the Backstreet Boys tour was gonna last two weeks. Oh, we're yeah. like, man, we better 
Yeah, we better get some cereal. This is this this <laughs> this could last two weeks. Yeah, man. I I keep you know we have like that sort of stock downstairs of like what we yes do. like oh you know we we gotta stock up for like two months. I mean two. Can you believe? There's no way two months. <laughs> yeah. And you know, month six. Where? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Although I, I will say it feels less scary than it did in those very early moments. I mean, not to make light of it in any way. Obviously, it's deadly and lots of people have tragically lost their lives. Right. Um, but at least it feels like we know what we're dealing with in a sense. Um, whereas at the time there was so much nonsense just flying around and no one knew what was going on right um that that made it extra scary yeah i mean there's there's certain things that have definitely like yeah i'll go to the grocery store i try to minimize it and certainly wear a mask and stuff but like yeah i'm not gonna go like party <laughs> yeah we were never really party people anyway well like i'll still like have people over but like outside like they won't come in the house and yeah like you do what you gotta do, man. It's- it's strange times. Yeah. Um... Yeah, man, it's fucking wild. But it, it's- it's- it's just funny, cause like... You know, that food's been down there now. And- and like, we've since gone to the grocery store a couple times, so it's like... Sure. Man, could you imagine if we were living on like, canned tuna and pasta for like, six months? Oh, yeah. Man. Can't be healthy. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like, what is that? Protein, carbs? Well, I, I got a bunch of supplements, too. That was another thing. It was like, and right. I'm actually using those. Um, yeah, you gotta take those anyway. Just because, yeah. Uh, man, what a fucking wild ride that would be. It was It was weird. I was going down the, like, the rabbit hole when it first started, because it was like, oh, yeah, well, like, what can we get? Because everything was getting bought up, and, like, pasta was sold out everywhere. Right. Um, so I was like, I was like what, what can we get, man? Like... And I found this resource for like doomsday preppers, where they'll they'll send you just like buckets and buckets of like pre-made meals. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 you can like chew. You can be like, oh, are you like a meat guy, or are you like a vegetarian guy, or are you like a like it's <laughs> fucking wild. I was yeah, they're very specific. So impressed. <laughs> oh man, that's good shit. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's- it feels like, a In a- in a- a doomsday situation that's that dire, where, you know, just society's completely gone. I think I'd rather just die. <laughs> know what I mean? I've- dude- but, Like, I know what you mean. I don't- I don't really feel that way. But yeah, I I'm sure I wouldn't if it actually happened. I'd be like must cling to life bring me all the tuna, but like <laughs> it, you know I, I, Maybe it's just because I'm so weary with the whole situation, but Just like yeah six months of tuna. I think I'd rather be dead <laughs> That's a ridiculous thing to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, the, the thing is uh, I, I feel like I've had that th because we just we just recently had um some fires in in LA they're still going right now oh yeah they're everywhere um but there's one particularly close to us it's like north of Pasadena uh called the Bobcat fire and it's uh it's putting smoke in the air for like all of LA so the last couple days the sky has just been yellow um yes and the light coming from the sun is is just yellow and it's it's very bleak um, there's, there's just, like, an emotional response that, like, we as humans have to this, uh, this, this color of the sky, and it's, it's just a bummer. Um, mm -hmm. so, as I'm, like, driving around, I'm like, oh, ugh, like, th there's definitely a moment where I was like, man, if, like, you know, you think about, like, oh, if, the, like, the, like, a meteor hit or whatever, and there was, like, a very small amount of humans left, or... Something like that, or, or like the the sun was blotted out, and we're just yeah. If you had to live underground, yeah, I'd I'd, I'd be like, fuck. I, 
Because you, 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 you think, and it's like, oh, yeah, whatever, you just carry on, but like, you experience nah, that, yeah. and you're like, this fucking sucks. Yeah. It, my, my, it, I'm of two minds about it. On one hand, it's it kind of like, I, nah, I'm good. <laughs> like, I don't, I, I had a good life. No problem. <laughs> on the other, on the other hand, humans are amazingly adaptable. Yeah, and if you sure. told us, if you told us we'd be in our houses for six months, I would have, I, pr I probably would have just banged my head against the wall until I passed out. But now it's six months later and it's like, eh, I don't know. Yeah. I like, hang like hanging out with my partner, I like hanging out with my dog. It's fine. That is true. You know? Um, and, and also you think about like, astronauts that like put themselves through hell and then they're up in ISS for like years it's yeah like they haven't seen like blue skies in a long time they volunteered for that shit though yeah well I mean it's one thing to like volunteer for it but it's another thing to experience it you know it's like oh yeah I could handle that and then it like comes and you're like oh fuck <laughs> yeah no it's true because then I think about dude like, I the, like, first Mars colonizers, and you look at, like, the Martian sky, and it's, like, always just red and yellow, and it's like, oh, God. Well, e e Elon Musk did say something to that effect. He he said, if we're going to create a colony on Mars, it has to be really fun. We have to make it fun and awesome. And, uh, it's just interesting. I never even thought of that, you know? It has to be really but fun. But that's also why, uh... Why he's a genius. Yeah, well, humans need fun. That's definitely true. Yeah, uh, no question. It's weird, I was just watching, um... I was watching a talk that Mark Rosewater did in, in 2016 at GDC. Mark Rosewater is, like, the head designer of Magic the Gathering. Oh, cool. Um, and he was talking... His name about, is Rosewater? Yeah, it's a great name. That's right? so perfect. Yeah. Um... Uh, he was talking about the uh, design elements, obviously, um, but he was he was talking about how like there's a there's an intersection between fun and interesting, and this is like a this is like also a John Blow thing, you know, if a, a game if a game is anything, it's it has to be either fun or interesting or both. Um, mm -hmm. And he was like, fun appeals to God, fuck, this boss is so hard. Um, fun appeals to like the emotional element. And interesting appeals to the intellectual element, right? But the emotional element's always going to be stronger. Um, you know, like, uh, people will say, like, oh, that's really interesting. But if it's not fun, like, it won't connect as much as something that's mm -hmm. that's interesting. Or, or, uh, if, or that's something that's fun. Fucking God! Oh, <laughs> this is so hard. I'm, I'm trying to fucking tell this, like, intricate. Split your attention. Yeah, it's difficult. Hold on, let me just... Concentrate yeah, on beat this guy first. This is really tough. The, the objective. What's the objective here? To punch him in his bloopy bloops. Yeah. Right in his bloopy bloops. How much damage have you done? Uh, I just have to hit it one more. Oh, great! Please stay away. Hit me with them bloops, baby. Oh, oh, yeah. Right. <clears throat> oh, my bloops! Um, but I, I think that, I think that applies to anything, uh, in life. It's, it's the emotional aspect. Like, when we make decisions, you know, we like to think that we're, like, inten intellectual creatures, but we're really not. We're emotional creatures. Um. Yeah. And we make, we usually make decisions, especially split decisions, on, um, our emotional memory and not on our intellectual prowess. Yeah. I, I, I was I was reading um, I was reading some uh, psychology papers that talked about um, how politics, uh, even though they feel like they're issue driven, are mostly emotionally driven mm -hmm. um, by uh, in people's minds, which which is super interesting and also makes a ton of sense because what makes people more emotional than politics? Yeah, so true. Yeah. Sorry. Please I, continue. I mean, that's a hundred percent true. Um, how many star bits? I gotta collect star bits again to get to this goddamn goopy island over here. 
Okay. Do I have enough stars, madame? Yes, I do. Oh, bring me into the battle. Wow, that's a huge castle. Is that the end of the game? I guess so. Yeah, time for the grand finale. Oh my god! Oh, I don't want this. While we weren't paying attention, you were beating the game. <laughs> you are princess. Your princess is waiting in that specific castle. <laughs> what a surprise. It's a comet. Uh, or what a surprise! It's a comet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't really know how to read that. Ah, uh, looks like Bowser wants to get even bigger. <laughs> nice. You need to stop that <laughs> Bowser monster before it devours everything in his path. Get in there and show him what you got. <laughs> you yeah. dirty bastard. <laughs> oh yes. Um. Okay. Oh well, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Get in there and show them what you got. You got it. You turn around and <laughs> rock it off the other direction. Yeah! All right, I'm uh, I'm going to Throwback Galaxy because fuck it, I want to go back there. I'm gonna get some of them those damn prankster comets going, baby. Yeah, you want those bits? Um, what uh, what do you get when you hand him fifteen hundred bits? I got a new stage. Access to a new stage. Oh. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So you're being a completionist. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Oh, good, good for you. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I am proud of yes. you. I am proud. I am so proud. All right, here we go. Up there. Look at that. Fucking can't do that in Mario 64. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Best watch out, because I'm gonna speedrun this shit. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Don't even know what the hell's going on anymore. Goop! Shit, 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 shit. It's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Is it? No. <laughs> no, it's shit! Everything's shit! <laughs> oh wait, is the, is the bomb down here? Is he gonna give me a little launch pad? You look sort of familiar, Stash. Dude, sort of familiar. Oh, yeah. Stash like man. <laughs> Stash man, stash man. Ah, musical notations <laughs> for my ears to listen to. Hmm. Good no, nice. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. I just want to get that coin and I want to get the fuck out of here. That's all I care about. Hmm. That's all I care about in this ding ding world. Nothing more important than that. <laughs> Do, do, uh, does this, uh, does this game also have a green demon challenge that people have created? Oh. I don't know. Because this level looks perfect for that. Consider. In fact, it, it's almost exactly reminiscent of the exact one. Well, you know, no. I mean, at least in terms of one-ups, because one-ups don't follow you anymore. Oh, yeah, that's right. They kind of do their own thing. Um, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know if there's like an invented challenge that has been made. That shit's fun as hell. I gotta say, like, I was really, um, there, there was like a phase where I was like, I want to come up with like more challenge stuff because I love it. And I was, just, I was pretty emotionally invested in you trying to get that. It, it would be cool to see you try to do another, uh, take another swing at it because... Um, yeah, uh, you didn't get one. Wow, thanks for uh, reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it'd be, it'd be cool, but you were super close, and you were definitely making progress, so it would be cool to see you triumph over that. The goal was to finish the stage without getting the one-up, right? Correct. Like, have it chase you and then do what the stage requires of you. Yes. And, uh... Man, that's tough. It's extremely tough. Because th those things were fast and relentless. Fast and relentless. That's what I call it when I... <laughs> when you take, what, take Aaron? those lactate-free dumps. <laughs> Come here, baby. It's so fast! But it's relentless! Oh, 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 shit, dude. Boy, that was cool. Nice. Yeah. That's because he's not the real womp. Oh, God. Oh, wow. That's very disorienting. 
Yeah, I just gotta complete the stage so I get the coin so I can go to the prankster star and get the prankster star and go to the prankster star and get the prankster star. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Makes me so we build your houses. Do you ever say thank you? Well, you're not gonna wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to ground pound the Womp King. That up, sounds man. like a fast food thing. Ground pound the Womp King? Yeah. Yeah, my- we're- we're gonna go, uh, get the, uh, ground pound burger over at the Womp King. Yeah. Did you, uh, did you try the- the- the Ben Schwartz meal? At, uh, at McDonald's? No, what is it- what is that? Oh, it's- it's awesome. It's- it's so good. You got- you gotta watch ben, ben Schwartz's video on it, cause it's- it's fantastic. Can you give me the gist, or would it be spoiling jokes? Um... I mean... <laughs> I'd be spoiling the delicious meal, is what I'd be spoiling, Dan. No, okay, all right, I'll check it out. You, you gotta check it out, man. Go check out the Ben Schwartz meal at, uh, and Ben, I love ben him. Schwartz's Twitter. Real, and I miss him. Real delicious. Oh, it's on his Twitter? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's why I haven't seen it. I mean, I don't have, I don't have Twitter. Yeah, Twitter sucks. <laughs> all social media sucks. Well, that's true. It's very true. Yeah. <laughs> it, like, it makes you 5% happy and 95% anxious. Oh, yeah, dude. Dude, I- yesterday yeah. I woke up- And by I like, you, I mean all human beings. Yeah. The- the fucking agony square. Mm. The agony square! <laughs> I'm done with it, man. I hate it. Yeah. 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 The- the rectangle of despair. <laughs> It's just- it's just no fun. It's no fun. And it's, like, noticeable. Like, immediately noticeable. There was a day I woke up and I was just like, I'm not gonna use my phone. And then I, like... ...connected with my wife and had, like, a real yeah. nice day and... ...fucking, yeah. like, thought about things I liked. <gasps> yeah, it's- it's different. It's certainly different. Boy, you got a lot of star bits to go, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, I do. I is there a star bit specific world that can... Soak up a lot of that goodness. A lot of that good good. Ooh, that good good. <laughs> Ooh, that good good. Um... I don't know, man. That's a good question. Okay. That's actually something I feel like I should look up. Yeah, do it. To see if there's like a, like a... Particularly starbit heavy stage. Uh, well, we can just do one more, and then... Uh, you can do it between episodes. Oh, yeah. Y y yeah, y you're right. Definitely. Definitely. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> you, you okay, bud? Definitely. Definitely. Ooh, what's this? Oh, motherfucker, it's a fucking flying stage. No, I'm not gonna do that. You All right. fucking piece of shit. <laughs> fucking flying stage bullshit. Calling something a piece of shit is one of my favorites. <laughs> you know what, you're a piece Die, of- Die, you piece of shit. That's a chitty piece of chit right there. Chitty, chit, chitty, 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 bang, bang over here. Yeah. Oh, you. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang, chitty, chitty, bang, bang, we love you. Do you remember, um... Chitty! <laughs> remember, yes. uh... Yes! <sighs> you okay, Aaron? <laughs> Ricky Ticky Tavi. No, R but... Uh, Ricky Ticky Tembo? Ricky Ticky Tavi. Okay, yes, this is exactly the conversation I wanted to have. Okay. <laughs> Ricky Tiki Tembo No Sa Rembo Chari Bari Ruki Chari Bari Which Bari what? Tembo. Right? Uh, I don't remember. I, all I remember is uh, Ricky Tiki Tembo No Sa Rembo. Chari Bari Ruchi Pimberi Pembo. That's how it goes. Okay. Okay, so what is that? I don't know. It's just a bunch of sounds. But is it like a thing? Is it like a show? Is it like a- like, what is that? I think it was just one of those competitive schoolyard, I can say this entire thing without messing it up. Really? Um, hold on, I'll look it up. Yes, please. Ricky. Ricky Ticky Tembo. Because... There is- This has it as Ticky Ticky Tembo. Ticky Ticky Tembo? Yeah. Okay, so Tiki maybe... Tiki Tembo is a is a 1968 picture book written by Arlene Mosel oh. and illustrated by Blair Lent. The book tells the story of a Chinese boy with a long name who falls into a well. It's sort of an origin myth about why Chinese names are so short today. Huh. 
That is different than I thought it would be. Yeah, I guess it's like one of those Shell Silverstein types of, um... Uh, like, kid stories. Huh. Yeah. That's fucking strange. Okay, so, like, he fell down the well, and when people had to tell him that they fell down the well, they had to say his whole name. I guess? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um... Okay, so... That fucking... Fuck! Alright, so that's laid out, right? Okay. Ricky Ticky Tavi is like a weasel cartoon character. Oh, okay. That they like made cartoons about. And I. Okay. And growing up, I was always like, wait, so Ricky Ticky Tembo is not the same as Ricky Ticky Tavi? No. no. I'm learning. Ricky. Ricky. Ricky Ticky Tavi is a short story in the 1894 anthology The Jungle Book. About the adventures of a valiant young Indian gray mongoose. Mongoose. Yeah. But I so remember, he fights a cobra. I remember there was a cartoon that was on television, and he has like a... He has like a tail, and it's like... Tick, 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 tick. And he gets yes. all like worked up. Uh, Chuck Jones did a Ricky Ticky Tavi uh, animated film. A, a film? Okay. Well, there you go. Man, that now really, you know! I really, uh... You learned a thing! Yeah, man, I was like... Reeling about that, man. I was like... It's killing me not to know. <laughs> what do about this knowledge that I don't have? Well, I'll tell you what... Uh, we're gonna do right now. What's that? We're gonna say next time on Game Grumps. And then, uh, you're gonna look up where to get the most star bits. That's right. And then, uh, and then you're gonna get them. You know, you would think that. I do think that, and I believe. Okay, bye. Hey, mamma mia, Papa P, you fucking, you fucking dingleberry. Wow, you are a berry of dingles. <laughs> Zero, one, seven, 